G'day guys, I'm Dan from Certified Energy Solutions. Today we're doing a little bit of a sneak peek as far as uh, how an installation goes together for one of our customers. So today we're out at Lower Wonga for John. Uh, John originally came to us because he's sick of paying for power bills. One of the rare customers that do doesn't actually have any solar installed in his house as well. So we're taking this as a complete fresh installation for him. One of his pet peeves was continuous blackouts, which happens a lot when you start getting further north or west of Gympie. So it's almost a weekly occurrence out here. So it was really important for him to be able to get emergency backup power for his uh, whole house as well. You know, keep his beers cold in the fridge and everything else powered up during those extended blackouts, which at times can go for multiple days. The product we're installing today is a hybrid solution from Red Earth Energy Storage. It's called the Bush Chook. It's got an 8,000 watt inverter and we've got five of the Tropo 4.1 kilowatt hour batteries going in there. We've also coupled up a backup generator, an 8.5 kVA max watt, which is hooked up on an ATS, which is built into the two wire start on the Bush Chook system. So essentially what that means is, old John here can get a blackout to 10 days and the system will actually operate like an off-grid product. So it's not reliant on the grid at all. Even if it's poor weather, the solar panels are struggling to generate, the generator will be able to basically back up the battery system and ensure it's always topped up and ready to power all these devices. Let's do a bit of a walk around. The boys have already started here. They're up on the roof at the moment doing some solar panel installation, um, getting the uh, dual glass 440 watt panels up on the roof. And today's install has got 26 of those as well. And we're mainly focusing on a north-northwest kind of aspect with the roof design. Let's pop on over and have a bit of a look, see what's going on. Yeah, you know, it's Pete from Pete's Property Maintenance. We've just uh, dug this trench 600 deep, which is a limit for your, your power underground power, going from one shed to the other shed. We're going to run the, uh, Harry's going to run the, the cable down, down the conduit. Then we'll bury the conduit with a little bit of soil and he'll put his do not dig sign over the top of it and then we'll finish filling it in. G'day guys, Ashley here. Just cutting the rail for our JO panels. So here we are up in Gympie installing the 11 and 11.4 kilowatt solar system, JA solar panels on anti-solar solar feed. Right, so what we're gonna do is rip this out, put a new subboard in, like so, and put new circuit breakers in. Uh, because these old rewirable fuses are no good now. They don't, they don't, I can get them out. They don't protect the house properly. They just got little wires in them and they're not safe anymore. So uh, we'll be ripping that safety switch off. So it'll be all combined into uh, RCBOs like that. So they'll all go into the new board. So, and they'll protect the house as they should be. Yeah, we're just running the DC cables to link from one roof to the other that's then going to run back to the bush chuck. Uh, so I've just sorted out the, uh, the trench going from the inverter and battery system back to the main switchboard. Um, in it we've got two 16 mils, one for the grid, one for the battery. Um, yeah, all good.
Here we are at the final stage. We've laid all the rail. Now it's time to panel up. You. So here we are at the end of the day. We've laid our two strings on the north facing roof, seven on each string, and a string of 12 over on the east facing roof. We've labeled up our three strings, and it's time to blow off the roof and get all the swirl off. <laughs> 